Hey guys, in this video, we're going to learn about SSH for getting a remote shell on a remote host, and we're going to learn about SCP used to copy files to and from the remote hosts over Secure Shell. Now, if you want to SSH to a host, you can uh, SSH like this. You know, I'm going to show you a real host. So IP. So my current IP address is going to be this guy right here. So I have another host on the same network. So SSH, if you want to SSH into a host, paste the, I'm going to change this to two. We can SSH into this host. And notice by default, it uses the current user that you're logged in as. Now, if you want to specify a different user, you could go like this. You could say user2 at, and you're gonna, it will attempt to SSH as user2 rather than user1 since I'm logged in as user1 right now. Now, normally it's bad practice to SSH as root. Normally you SSH as a, a, a regular user and then sudo to root. Um, any case, you can also so you can SSH to an IP address, or you can SSH to a host name, like this host name was Banyan. I could SSH to this, paste. And there you go, SSH to. Now, you can specify the username, like you, you could say user1, at if you wanted to, or some people, I believe you can actually use a dash L. Some people, you'll see some people do this. It doesn't make as much sense to me, so don't do that. So that's how you SSH to things. Oh, one other thing I should show you is if you want to use a key file, um, if you name, if you have a default name in your SSH directory, I'm not going to show you how to create those to keys today. Um, but if you you, if you name it a, a standard generic name in your SSH directory, you don't even have to specify your SSH key. It's just going to use it by default. But if you have like a strange key you downloaded from Amazon or something, you can specify an exact key that you want to use like this. Specify the path to the key you want to use and then just SSH in. So that's how you'd use an SSH key. Now, if you want to SCP, SCP is the, so SSH gets you a shell on the host. SCP is used for transferring files over the SSH protocol. So you can say SCP data1.txt and specify the IP address or host name you want to copy that to. So yeah, you could, for example, use this, paste, and then you're going to specify where you want to copy it to, like home user1, or you can copy it to var temp, wherever you want to copy it. You basically, the source, destination. Now the source could be a file on your current system, then the, the host name of the remote system, and the directory you want to place it in. Now, if you want to pull something off the remote system, you're going to have to specify the actual file name, like... Uh, a file named on the remote system. If you want to pull it off the remote system, you specify the remote system first, and then your your say your current directory like dot, or maybe you want to put it in a var var log on your current system. That does doesn't make sense to do that, but you could do that if you wanted to. That's how you'd SCP something to your current system. So you pull it off of the remote system. So the source is the remote system. And you specify the file you want to your current system. Now, if you you can also s copy things between different hosts. Like, let's say if there was a Banyan2, you say Banyan2 var, var temp output dot log. So you can copy from this host with this path to this host and place it in this path. So. Even if I'm not even on either of these two hosts, I can I can SCP files between those two hosts. So then you can, yeah, I already showed you, you can specify a username similar to how you can with the SSH command, same deal, specify a username if you like. So you can also specify, so the other important thing to do is to, oh yeah, so you can specify a key with uh, dash i dot ssh 
and wh whatever key you have, just like that, same as the SSH command, you can specify a key with the SCP command. Now, another useful thing to do, if you are copying a directory, like, like in, instead of copying, like if you're from a remote host, if you wanna copy this entire directory, or maybe it's like var data one, right? So if, if you want to copy a directory from a remote host to say, for example, your current directory, you want to just copy this data directory, the whole directory to where you currently are, you're going to need a dash R for recursive. So SCP dash R, you know, the, the, whatever you want to copy to wherever you want to copy it to, or you might be copying like uh, something from your, your local host to the uh, re remote host like that, right? like that basically. So you, you could do that as well, but um, yeah, that's basically every, all the, the important stuff you need to know for the SCP command. So let, let me actually show you how this works just to see. So um, all right, let's say SCP test1.txt to bun in one home user one. So let's just SCP this file. And there you go. It, it transferred almost instantly because it's a tiny file. We SCP'd that file over to the remote host. So hopefully you found this useful, if not just interesting. Um, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know or any comments, questions, criticisms, anything you want to say. I want to hear it, but also definitely hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of other great tech content you just don't want to miss out on. So uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. We do like coding, Linux, servers, hardware, software, electronics, networking, all sorts of great stuff, robots. Don't miss out on that. Definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit the, the little bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube won't give you notifications when new videos get posted. And also check out the list of videos we've already published. We have a ton of great content out there already. So definitely check that out. And that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.